Jesus Christ. I can't build! I can't build! I can't build, dude! Can I build now? Jesus! Jesus Christ. Freaking Tommy gun. Holy crap. Get out of here. Next game. We don't have much time left. Mother of God. My God. <laughs> Fortnite competitive is shit. Jalen says, I got the builds. I'm the constructor. I'll throw the trap what? down. And Belfast doesn't get the cone down in time to block it. Jalen, legendary combat into the spike trap. That was insane. That was very well executed from him. And I believe he actually hurt all, all those players down there on the bottom falling to the storm. You got to make sure, man. Mountains, they will win the battle every time. You gotta rotate early. But speaking of rotating, Link is doing it up above. Jalen just on the tarp below. Could they potentially fight it out? I believe, if I remember correctly, Jalen was in third, Sawsman was in second, and then Link was in first. An RPG going out. Now keep in mind, Link is only on 50 effective HP, taking a ton of storm damage there. So if he's not careful, he could be sent back to the lobby in this game. Top five now though, Zeke, so everyone getting that seventh placement point. It's all about the eliminations and the victory royale. Link has nothing to get him down if he does get knocked, but this player, uh, hello, 50? That's 50 going over to Link. Yep, right, 50 real quick. You talked about that effective HP, getting that raw health back via the Siphon, and then finding Dolph with those RPG angles, knowing the players are extremely low on builds, hearing that Shadow Bomb go off, so instead opting to build up, and then just firing tack shots around him, saying, hey, I see you, I know you're near me. You can't shoot back. That's right, final moments here. Remember, Victory Rally is the, the next and final placement threshold. An RPG going to crack the shields of the player. Another going down. Swag, unfortunately, going back to where he came from, wherever Swag originates from. Where does Swag originate, Zeke? I guess like a, a, a production plant, I guess. Oh, it was Jalen who was there. And, oh, man. that I believe that honestly could have gone either way, but Link had the rockets and the advantage. Let me up! So low, so low. Good though, we got good points there, good points there. Hey, we're, we're clutching our points back up, chat.
Wake your heart. Redeploy out into the open through the river, which would have certainly spelt his doom. And in these higher lobbies, when you're at 64 points, that can't happen. But now he's into the top 10 and only getting aggressive while Replace loses that battle there. And he's on no builds here, Zeke. So it's all about the Elims. And he gets Ancon right as he pops the Shadow Bomb. We're coming down to the wire here. Asphid tries to go with the flint knock, does not connect over on Link. Maybe just a little bit of chip damage, but Link is still ticking off. He must have taken a slurp. He's gonna find the, uh, or excuse me, he's gonna find this other player, get the elimination, turn it all around. And that puts him into the top five as well. So we talk about those critical eliminations, the ones where it pushes you off a placement threshold or it's against a player you're directly competing with on the leaderboard. Not that you're not directly competing with everyone, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the ones who are right next to you competing for qualifying spots. Three-point swing there for him, getting that Elam just inside that top five. So now it's all about the eliminations and the victory right out as Mars takes out Slider there and Tsunami takes the high ground. Four players remain. Don't forget, guys, Victory Out is the final placement threshold. Drum Gun goes out. Vince is dropped into critical. He needs to be very careful now. Tsunami takes fall damage, hunting this player. He knows. He's seen the white damage numbers. There you go. Vince is picked up top three right now, and they need to start building up to the high ground. Tsunami going to overtake. All the players are down below. Link is one of them. Mar is the other. A nice shot with the flint knock there over on Link. Getting a little bit of uh, chip damage there. Mar still 200, Tsunami still 200, and Link is in a tough position right now. He's not full HP, maybe 130. Okay, this is great. Campfire gonna top him back off, but it's only a 6 HP difference. Now Tsunami trying to overtake everyone Ooh. else. Now a little more gets traded out by Link. Tsunami comes down, swoops in like an eagle, and now Link has to go on the offensive. He's in the storm right now. He has no builds. He has no builds. You saw him trying to go up for the high ground, having no builds. And instead, just runs straight at Tsunami in that bottom right hand corner. You might be a Tsunami, but Link was the earthquake that caused you to move, and you can go back to the lobby. Being able to burn through those small rounds, now opting to go over to the drum gun, putting a little more pressure on him as the player is closing rank. Back over to the mini, and you just see he's the one dictating the speed of this, working top down, not enabling these players to move, not allowing these players to get comfortable and to get a box up and start returning fire. He's not threatened at all, as now for Rift Doru gets the wall at it, edits himself in, picks up the Elim onto Kensha, but now, all of the onus is on Peter Pan, but Goru gets a good trade back out to knock down some of that effective Ooh. HP, and it didn't matter. Wow. Quick floor edit, sneaks the tack, shot in there, and the rare tack is enough for Peter Pan gliding He's on <laughs> away. I mean, on the backside of the storm, you have Deltado 03 down to barely a whisper of effective HP, but it's oh, no. to get him into the top five as Nyx gets dropped down. Boogie Bomb's on the low ground, and Enrique Wonder picks up two as TS MRs in, goes down until Tato gets tapped with the slightest breeze. Nyx picks up Lucas, and we have a 1v1. Enrique in the bottom right. Nyx in your top right. Nyx on 10 elims. Enrique on four. Will Nyx be able to close it out? He wants revenge. He wants his solo qualification spot. Wants to be the first from South America to qualify for both. And now he's going to the skies. Quickly takes high ground away from Henrique. <laughs> and it's through. Dominates him. Henrique was looking to disengage. He wanted nothing to do with that. But Nyx wanted everything to do with him. That was one of those moments, kind of like you talked about, when you can think back to your, your playground one out. This lobby sitting on the highest ground, six players total, five he needs to cut through. Someone tries to challenge him, and he says, not today, friend. Go back to lobby. And look at this. He's doing what I said. Just get there early. Look at everyone else still on this lowest ground. They, still, they can continue to tunnel if they need to. We see a player there making the edit there. Three players. That's we we were at what twenty five players just about between that fifteen range. Cut all the way down to three. Yeah, we saw that in the first game as well. We went from forty to twenty two to eight, just in the span of two rotations, making it that much more difficult. Players either being forced to burn their utility, and the players in the prime high ground or in the front of the storm are making great work. But now Skullblaze uses his second to last shadow bomb to reposition, but now Blackout's getting aggro, dropping down a stink, forcing the player out, got some tags onto Skull, who's now gonna have to disengage. Blackout's in your top right, trying to go forward with the drum, down to only 19 
medium ammo in it now as Skullblaze has her turn to go rat tat 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 Not going to find it, though, as Jovim cracks him absolutely back with that combat. Jovim might have been able to get himself some room, but no. Blackouts picks that one up, is in a controlling position. Despite not having the high ground, has literally everything else as an advantage right now. Effective HP has the shotgun where Blaze is limited to just the spray, wow. and that's going to be it. He was tagged with a stiff breeze and went down. Only had <laughs> the 11 HP to speak of.